Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> the, the guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without rocket. Fine. Do I get a raise for this? Why do you tease me with crafting, Quill? Anything yet? I am Groot. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time, but Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh. Good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. Smooth. Eh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scow for itself. We're taking fire! Ah! <laughs> Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Try not to get shot, Quill. Flying, this sucks! Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Yes, feel free to show off. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are five at Drax can't come to the phone right now. Oh. 
Tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no buckethead near my. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome 
to Novacorp Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? Your crippling indecision vexes me, Peter Quill. After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick some Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please Mark you. Your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Finally, Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Novacore. Because I'm a sucker. Force justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Good job, boys. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? We should report what Rager is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the cons. Thank, Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As, as all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, and you cannot resume a cancelled application. How about future crime? Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I know! Let's join the Corps and rob them! Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How, How can, can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. How are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The, the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have, we have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, 
Given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! Culture, culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We, we do, do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced, advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless point. sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church, church is stockpiling resources. Its, its influence, influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We, we cannot adjust our computations to the, the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do, do not experience emotion, therefore, therefore we, we cannot, cannot be afraid. afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We, we recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. concern. We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A, a complete, complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no guardians. guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> you know what? Screw this. Cancel payment. Peter! What? It's not like Nova Corps is gonna come after us. They're leaving. Exactly. They're leaving. That was our only chance to get this disabler off the Milano. We can't escape the church with a... Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Let's get this over with. 
Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on the Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. The truck's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And they the find promise must be Groot. freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed guys, anyway. Guys, 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 guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagno- I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Really? How did you... Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in?
And the bed smells. Great. Talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? Uh, it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I 
had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the Matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right, uh, right, because she's a million light years away and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. Release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy can we shoot a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Oh, 
flocking waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. If there are church forces on this planet, we should have an attack strategy. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flock in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> Fuck it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Panama. More religious nut gods. Great! They aren't nuts. Pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Uh, I think I'd rather drown. Uh, oh, Found Drax! Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! The men are lost! Brock, get a little help here! Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do?
Jasper, of course, correct. Obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark isn't unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter. Focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. 